They use shaming tactics. Your mama black. You hate women. Shaming tactics. Shame, shame, shame. Shame is one of the four major arrows of a low value woman. It's part of a low value woman's pathology. You cross the board. I don't care what you have on paper. When women operate in these areas, they diminish their value to low. Because if you really have a good argument, you should not have to shame somebody. Shaming is just a way to get, get control of the conversation. Mm. Shame is different than insults. Shame is about shame is using is is used to turn a, a positive into a negative. Shaming tactics. Success shaming. Oh, well, you think you better than everybody because now you lost weight or because you got some money. Shaming tactics meant to keep you stuck. People who can't win the argument tend to use shaming tactics. Another sign of a low value woman is she often insults. To speak or treat with disrespect or scornful abuse. You gay. You got a little pee pee. You ugly. You this, you that. Insults. Oh my goodness. Think how often you, you will hear someone when you're, when they're losing an argument or can't stand on the merits of the argument, they want to come out with an insult in debate. It's called an ad hominem against the man. The first person to get off the topic and start making personal insults is the one that loses insult low value women playbook pathology shame shaming tactics insults and the insults can be your height your weight your money the way you look insults they are more they are more ready to give an insult than a compliment Matter of fact, not only do they insult, they take pride in their insults. And if you can't take their insults, they shame you. Oh, look at you. You're too weak. Again, shaming tactics. You're supposed to be able to handle their insults. And see, low value women feel like people should be able to handle them. That's not working. No one wants to handle a woman. So if you use shame, as a tactic to get your way, you may be low value. If you're often insulting to get your way or to shut people up or shut people down, you may be low value. You know, the next one, S and the I. Next thing, let's go with the G. The G is guilt. Guilt. Making someone feel guilty, especially in order to induce them to do something. Guilt, a manipulation. Your mama black is not only a shaming tactic, it's a guilting tactic. It's made to move, move you under control. See, these things are somewhat passive and somewhat aggressive. Shame, insults, and guilt are ways to manipulate control, exert power. And it's not done in a physical way. It's done in an emotional way. You know, physical bruises and scars and, and attacks heal emotional ones go on forever low value women specialize in low value high potency shame guilt and insult attacks they're good at them guilting you oh you're going out with your you're going out with your boys okay well oh you, you must not love me guilt meaning that if you don't do what you ask and want them to do, you're a bad person. Four signs of a woman that's low value. See, a high value woman, by contrast, a high value woman, by contrast, she's appealing and attractive. She has a comforting character. Her character, a high value woman is comforting in her character. She's not going to shame you, insult you, or guilt you. She's going to lift and build people up. She's enthusiastic and exuberant about things. She's, like I said, she's liberating. Low value women are the opposite. 
They are burdensome. A high value woman is a feminine asset. A low value woman is a liability. And it typically is a masculine liability, but it can be a feminine liability. There are some feminine low value women. Make no mistake. And last, the last sign that a woman may be low value is this one. The incessant need to be right. I have video after video after video after video after video of me having conversations with women here who will argue you into the ground. If you've ever dealt with somebody who absolutely needs to be right, the need to be right uh, can be rooted in different things. But firstly, the need to be right is often a mask for insecurity. The person is concerned how others perceive them and if they're wrong or they felt like they're not meeting whatever expectations, they will force themselves to be right. People who need to be right are masking, tend to be masking insecurity. Insecure about what? That's a different subject. One of the best things that you can learn is to let it, let it go. You don't need to be right, just relax and being correct. Think about the young lady I was talking to the other day, the 26 year old virgin who kept on wanting to argue about fornication and the Bible, the Bible. Wait till you listen to this call. All the things in there, shame, insults, guilt, the need to be right, low value. Just because you're a virgin and a Christian doesn't make you high value when you move in the way you do. You'll see it. It'll be laid out and you'll be like, wow, all of this to prove to be right on something. And see, low value women, why they lose men, especially high value men, they are more concerned that they want to win the argument, but they lose the man. Low value women win the argument and lose men. Many of your mothers are low value. Why? There's a reason your dad ain't around. And oftentimes we are told that the men are all the dads are just horrible people. No, cannot be mathematically impossible. Many times the guy was like Jenny Mai's father and just got tired of being beat down with a woman who was domineering and needed to be right to where he just had to leave. Broke his heart to leave his family and everything else, but it was either leave or die. 